Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson. We have Al in here with us this afternoon. And Al drove all the way down here from Austin, Texas, the capital of Texas, to get the Johnson technique done on him. Now, Al's very smart. He brought his diagnostics down. I did a really thorough history and examination on him before we did this video. Uh, Al has traumatic past in that he fell down a flight of stairs in 1985 and he shattered his left elbow is completely reversed right and he had pins and screws in there holding that together his shoulder was injured and it went all the way up into his cervical spine he has on his x-rays that he brought now he's smart he brought all his diagnostic tests with him so we reviewed everything the mris and the x-rays he has a completely reversed cervical curve. You're supposed to have a nice smooth forward lordosis in your cervical spine. His is actually sharp, sharply angulated backwards. So he's got a reverse cervical curve. He also has degenerative disc disease from C4 all the way down into his lumbar spine at L4 and L5. And he's had pain, chronic pain now for the last several years in all the areas his cervical thoracic lumbar spine and pelvis um, he's had cervical thoracic radiculopathy radiant to his left shoulder blade area up here especially right in the shoulder blade uh, he's had low back pain spasm um, pain that shifts out to his lower lumbar spine and he's also had paresthesia in his hands and fingers, so the little finger and the middle fingers, uh, that's C7 and C8 dermatome. He's also had, uh, used to, he doesn't have so much anymore, but he used to get headaches quite a bit as well. And he's doing better with those. He's been getting adjusted from a Nuka chiropractor up in Austin for the last two years, and that's worked out pretty good for you, right? Yeah, okay. yeah that's great. So we commend their work. Um, so he just came down here today to, to see how the Johnson technique would influence his particular severe condition. Is that right? Yes, sir. Okay. So again, we've already done his history and examination. Was that thorough, by the way? Yep. Yep. Exactly. Okay, good. So let's just show him how we're going to do this. And now I'm going to have you close your eyes again. And I'm going to have you bend your head forward and backwards again. And then back to neutral. Now I am analyzing his posture on the x-axis the y-axis and the z-axis. He is forward translation on the z-axis. He's translated to the left on the x-axis. So he has a positive SZ cervical, a positive SX cervical translation of his cervical spine. But you see how he's got that curve in his cervical spine. His head's kind of tilting to the right. So he's got a scoliosis, which is a lateral curvature from the A to P view in his cervical, thoracic, and lumbar spine regions. It's compensatory all the way down to his lumbar spine. And he's got a positive theta Z rotation of his head. That's why his head's kind of tilted off to the right there. And he's got forward translation as well. That's called forward head posture. Uh, down here, you get a little more room on the right side. His pelvis has translated to the left on the x-axis. That's a positive SX pelvis. Uh, he's got a little rotation, and he's rotated positive theta Z in his thoracic spine and his pelvis. Negative theta Z on his pelvis here. His right pelvic bone is higher than his left one, so that's a negative theta Z. Um, so, Al, first thing we're going to do now, after showing him what your posture looks like, I'm going to have you on your stomach here, face down first. Now this is his first adjustment here at Advanced Chiropractic Relief. So I'm gonna start him off here on the biophysics table so I can get a really good feel for his muscular ligamentous range of motion and, and tonicity. Now his right left leg was shorter by half an inch. I bring it up, his legs get even. That tightens up in your low back and your quads, doesn't it, Al? You feel that tightening up in your low yeah. back and your quads? Yeah. So I've already done all this palpatory exam and everything. He's got bilateral SI joint subluxations. He's got L4 and L5 that are counter-rotated down here. And again, he's got that scoliosis. You watch my hands. You can see it comes out to the right and then deviates back over to the left and then again over to the right down here. 
So I'm gonna start off adjusting his right SI joint. And I'm adjusting his SI joint in a oblique 45 degree angle along the lines of the SI joint. And then I'm hitting his sacrum straight superior to inferior. And now I'm going to adjust his left SI joint and his left hip. Same thing in that 45 degree angle of the SI joint. And then I'm gonna get into L5, straight P to A, L4, straight P to A. Now on L3, you can see the angle on my arm's changing a little bit because his zigapophyseal joint angles are changing as we move up the spine. There's L2. Oh, you felt that one move without the drop, didn't you? There you go. This is a diversified Palmer adjustment in the thoracic spine. And I see I got more movement on that by putting some more torquing stress rotation into that adjustment. And remember his left leg was shorter by a half inch. Now it's exactly even and it stays even. I bet you that didn't tighten up as much that time, Al. Sure. Good. So, you know, I learned most of these adjustments at Palmer College of Chiropractic in Davenport, Iowa. This is Palmer Diversified Thompson work. And then this is also Thompson work, but it's also biophysics. And I'm adjusting his cervical spine, which is reversed in its curvature. P to A. And he's getting ridiculous pain shooting all the way out into his left shoulder blade there. So we're gonna do a little different move on him. Just relax your head in my hands here. There, I contacted the transfer of the spinous of T1. Now I'm going down to T2 and doing a lateral move, opening up his cervical thoracic region here. Yeah, that's better, good. Okay, so let's turn you on your back now, please, Al. So the, most of the adjustments that I incorporated in the Johnson technique, I learned at Palmer College of Chiropractic, Palmer Package, and Thompson, Gonstead. Slide down a little bit. Okay, now, diversify. Let's put your arms straight out, palms up for me, Al. Yep, to the sides. No, kind of like Jesus on the cross. Okay. There you go. So I'm gonna adjust his AC joints bilaterally, his sternoclavicular joints bilaterally, and then his anterior costosternal joints here as well. Good, okay, you can relax your hands on your tummy there. Now I'm just decompressing his lumbosacral spine, his ankles, his knees, and his hips with this adjustment. And you should have felt that from your ankles all the way up to your low back. So we're gonna do the same thing over here. Let this go in my hand. There you go, super. Feel that one up there yeah. too? Good, okay, let's hit you up and face that way out. You know, and I would, uh, in fact, I encourage y'all to Continue going to the new chiropractor up in Austin because they're adjusting his atlas, which is a... No, I'm just going to adjust your elbow now. Now, remember, he shattered his left elbow, but I'm still going to adjust it. He doesn't have any hardware in there anymore. So I'm just going to get a feel for its range of motion first. There it is right there again. Yep. Okay, now let's come over on this table. The most unique component of the Johnson technique is this adjustment right here. And people have wanted to know what is the official name for this adjustment other than Ring Dinger, which I nicknamed it several years ago. Go ahead and slide up a little bit, Al. There you go. You can rest your hands right there. This is a manual neural 
N-E-U-R-A-L Neural Decompression Adjustment because it is an adjustment. It's not a traction machine. It's not just, it's not just a longitudinal adjust, or not just a longitudinal traction on a spine. This is actually a Y-axis adjustment where I'm bringing his spine to tension and then I do a high velocity, low amplitude adjustment using this wet towel to get a better feel on his spinal tension. My contact is right here at base of the occiput bilaterally. Keep breathing. There it is, oh. right there. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah is right. You felt that all the way down, didn't you? That was perfect. Look there, you're kicking even better now. Keep breathing. That's a wow adjustment. Let this relax in my hand. Okay, no, you gotta let me do it because it's right where you're reversed. Tilt your left ear over to your shoulder and wiggle your right ear. There it is. Okay. Now tilt your ear to the right with your left foot. There you go, see? Very nice. So I adjusted his cervical spine using Palmer Diversified Rotary Brake. However, in the adjustment, I was applying more of a posterior to anterior thrust into it. So it's not just twisting the neck. I'm actually driving at P to A. Let's turn sideways and sit up sideways. Let me help you up. There you go. Now stand right here in front of the mirror for me. Now, Al, have you ever had an adjustment like that? <laughs> Okay, so let's have you close your eyes again and bend your head forward and backwards again. Take a look at neutral now. See, your head's not near as far over yeah, this side. Yeah. You're much more yeah, lined up yeah, down yeah, your I feel, I feel it again. You're straighter. Yeah. Yes, sir. So there's a couple things that we're still going to do because he's still got some biomechanical issues going on here. We're going to show him how to do this exercise. Pull both shoulders up and then back simultaneously. Flare those here. So we're going to bring his head straight back. He's translated the last, so we're going to do exactly a mirror image of that. Translate him right. Now, I'd just like for you to look back at the wall for me there, Al. Good. You're going to feel a little tap on your atlas right there. And another little tap on your atlas right there. Okay, relax. And let's have you flex your head forward and backwards again. I bet you... As much as I'm standing here and, and have earned today, I bet you that felt smoother yeah. to you. Look in the mirror right now. Yes. That's the squarest that you're probably going to see yourself in a long time. Very good. Thank you. That was very good. So, Al, you've been adjusted by other chiropractors throughout the years, and yes. including the new chiropractor that you see. And I encourage you to keep doing that, by the way. Thank you. What would you tell our YouTube audience around the world about the difference between what you got here today and what you've had in the past. What's the difference in the Johnson technique to you as a patient? I would uh, compare that, let's say, going to a shared massage in a mall, okay, and going and having a real uh, deep tissue massage. It's like a big difference, you know. Uh, and uh, the analysis was really very sufficient and into the detail. Yes. Yeah. So, did you feel like we moved everything in your spine? I, I, I'm loving it. Yeah, good. I'm good. Uh, looking forward to see you again. Okay, well, thank you for sharing your visit with thank everyone on YouTube so today. Thank You're God, quite welcome. You. Yeah, God bless you too. This is your Houston chiropractor coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas, where we practice my technique, the Johnson technique, which is a combination of Palmer diversified and Palmer package techniques in conjunction with my vertical neurospinal neural decompression adjustment that we do here using this table and I have mine being built right now. So we're going to keep doing this and we're going to get this out to the chiropractors around the world so that other people can start doing this type of technique too because that way everybody won't have to fly to Houston and see me all the time. This is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, coming to you from, chiropr from Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas, where we are helping people one spine at a time. We'll see y'all soon.